Yesterday we talked about gymnosperms and angiosperms. Don't write anything down yet. But gymnosperms and angiosperms. Um, gymnosperms had needles instead of leaves, um, and they had cones that contained their seeds. Things like um, pine trees, spruce trees, stuff like that, your Christmas tree, okay? Then we talked about angiosperms. Angiosperms have irregular leaves, they have flowers, and they have fruit that contain their seeds, okay? So we're gonna kinda continue on where we were um, there. Um, go ahead and write the top part there. Um, go ahead and write there are two types, uh, or two groups of angiosperms. <coughs> two groups of angiosperms. And that's gonna be our main points for um, discussion today. So two, two groups of angiosperms. And this is based on their vascular tissue, leaves, number of flower parts, um, seeds, things like that. The first group is this right here. Go ahead and write this down, monocots and those bullets, please. If I'm going too fast, just pause it. But um, monocot, the, the prefix mono means one. It's actually monocotyledon, um, means one cotyledon, okay? So if you look at uh, monocots, they have parallel leaf veins, okay? What that means is they either have one leaf vein or they go parallel. By parallel, it's like railroad tracks that go right next to each other, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but if you um, rip off a piece of um, crabgrass out of your lawn and you can like blow on it like a whistle, um, the main reason for that is because it has one vein, it has a parallel leaf vein right down the middle, it is a monocot. Okay, um, things like a corn leaf is a monocot because it has a parallel leaf vein. Um, other things like maple trees, those are not monocots because um, their, their leaf veins go in all directions and they usually join somewhere. Okay, um, scattered vascular tissue. What that means is the vascular tissue, the xylem and phloem, instead of being in rings, okay, is all scattered everywhere. Flower parts that occur in threes. Um, what that means is that if you count the petals, it's going to be in um, three or six or nine. Okay, so there's either gonna be three petals or six petals or nine petals, and that means it's a monocot. Um, the whole she loves me, she loves me not thing, okay. Um, occurs in threes. Um, one seed leaf, so monocotyledon um, means that um, when you break open the seed, there's gonna be a little leaf in there and there's gonna be one of them, okay? I don't know if you um, you guys ever eat peanuts. I'm not kinda, I kinda like peanuts and I like to break them and um, they split in half, the seed does. And if you look closely when you split them in half, um, there's a little um, little leaf in there, okay? That would be the cotyledon. Um, now, um, it's usually cooked, um, so it wouldn't grow or anything like that, but um, that, that's what we're talking about there. Um, examples, corn, rice, wheat, oats are all example of monocots. Um, these are mostly grasses, okay? Corn, rice, wheat, oats, those are all examples of grasses. Um, they kind of fall in that category. So, um, monocots have those characteristics. Okay, so this is the inside of the seed. There's one seed leaf, parallel leaf veins. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six petals. So that's multiples of three. And then scattered vascular tissue, kind of see tubes kind of a little bit everywhere um, scattered throughout. So that is a monocot. The other category is dicots. Take a moment, write all of this down. <coughs> if I'm going too fast, please pause me. But they have a net-like veins on their leaves, so instead of running together, they're going to go in all directions and, and join up a lot of times. Um, a lot of tree leaves do this. They have vascular tissues in rings. Um, I showed you that piece of wood. Um, with rings, you count in, counting the xylem and phloem, okay, rings like that. Flower parts in fours or fives, so instead of three or six or nine, um, they're going to be something else. 
um, and two seed leaves. When you look at the inside of the, the seed, di means two, cotyledon. So dicotyledon is um, two seed leaves if you um, break open the um, seed. Examples, beans, uh, oranges, watermelon, um, just about any um, tree um, are dicots. Look at the picture here. If you break open the seed, there's two seed leaves. We can't see it very good. This isn't a great picture, but um, there's a um, there's a groove here that goes um, down the leaf, and then it breaks off like this. So they're going to meet. They are not parallel. And then you can count the petals: one, two, three, four, five. Um, so that'd be dicot, and then um, vascular tissue and rings like a tree. Um, you don't need to write this, but most, most shade trees like ma uh, maple, oak, and elm are dicots. So if you looked at this and knew nothing more, would you say monocot and dicot? The easiest way is probably to count one, two, three, four, five, six. I would probably call that a monocot because it has six petals. So that is a um, one of the three, six, nine. Here on the other hand, um, you can't see the, the leaf very well, but it is net-like. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals. I'd probably say that's dicot, because it is not a multiple of three. Um, you don't need to write anything here, but um, with the, the evolution of plants, um, basically gymnosperms are more um, simple, so um, having Needles and cones is a little more simple. Those things were here first, and then angiosperms uh, with regular leaves and fruit and flowers came later. Okay, so um, usually what happens evolutionarily is it starts very simple and then it gets more and more complex. Okay, so the simplest plants and animals started out on Earth and then it gradually got more and more complex. There we go.